Hello everybody, it's Dr. D'Amico again here at Skincare Fort Worth. Hope everybody's still safe. Hopefully we're getting to the end of this period of isolation and uh, things will start getting back to normal pretty soon. So today we're going to talk about another area that we use Botox. Last time we talked about the forehead and today we're going to talk about the frown lines or what we call the glabella in, in uh, medical terms. And this area, like I said, each area that we treat is a particular group of muscles. So this area here is actually made up of primarily three muscles that we're treating. There's one right in here, pulls down, called the procerus. And then there's one on either side of, above the eyebrow, just runs the length of the eyebrow. And those are called the corrugators. And there's a couple of other smaller muscles in there that are involved with this whole area as well. But that, those are the main muscles that cause these 11s that people get, the frown lines. Some people will get little lines that go all the way along the, above the eyebrow. Some people will get a big crease in here above, right between the eyes from the procerus pulling down. So all those are wrinkles that we can get rid of by treating those muscles with some Botox and relaxing them. So in this area, like most areas with Botox, there's a range of how much Botox we use. In that area, I usually use somewhere between uh, 15 and 25 units in most female patients, somewhere between 15 and 25. I would say most of my women patients get 20 units in that area. Sometimes we can get a buy with as little as nine or 10 units but I've rarely had to go above 25 units in a female patient in this area. And we put the Botox in the strategic areas to relax those muscles. So these muscles stop pulling like this and causing those wrinkles and this muscle stops pulling down and causing that big wrinkle there. And when we relax these muscles, these muscles are also what we call brow depressors. So if you relax these muscles, then sometimes you can get a little bit of a lift in the forehead. That's part of how we do a Botox brow lift. By relaxing these muscles that are pulling down, all these muscles pull down on your forehead and on your brow. And when we relax them, then you get some lift. And that's always a good thing, especially in the, the ladies. They like the high brow, the arched brow. We want to get as much lift as possible. So again, when we treat men, that's a little bit of a different story for a couple of reasons. First of all, men, we tend to have a kind of flat, heavy brow to start with. And so there's not a lot of lifting going on, but it can give a little bit of lift. And the other thing is, again, just like every other area, more Botox is usually needed in men because the muscles are much bigger and much stronger. More muscle mass means you need more Botox. So whereas in women, it's 15 to 25 units in here. In men, I usually start with 25 units in the glabella or the frown lines and go up from there. 35, I've used. 40, 50 units in that area. Some men's glabellar muscles are very, very strong and need a lot of Botox. But most men will get good results with about 25 units in this area. So that's where we'll usually start. And then if we need to, in a week or two afterwards, after the initial treatment, again, if there's still some more movement than they would like, then come back in and we'll tweak it a little bit and add some Botox. You don't have to wait until it all wears off to add a little bit more if you're still getting more wrinkling than you wanted. So that's about it for the frown line area or the glabellar area, somewhere between 15 and 25, usually 20 units most of the time in women and usually 25 units in men. Next time we'll talk about the crow's feet area, that's the third and the last common 
area that we treat in the face and then we'll talk about some of the other lesser areas at some other time. So everybody hang in there so you can start calling and making appointments. Uh, worst thing can happen is if they extend this we'll have to cancel your appointment again but we'll see how it goes. And again you can get products still on the online store at any time. So that's it for today and I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye bye.